Okay guys, I am back and we're gonna start painting on this and um, what I'm using, I just, I used to have really great painting brushes but I have kids in the house and um, yeah, that doesn't work so well. Um, so what I'm using is the medium to firm um, Crafter's Choice and I believe that I picked this up at Walmart. So once, once I don't have um, little ones um, in the house using my art supplies, I will reinvest in really expensive ones again, but, um, or maybe not. Um, I don't see a ton of difference between some of the ones that I used to paint with and these for the most part. I mean, sometimes I'll get, sometimes these bristles will get more bent up than, than the other ones, but, um, or they'll start to separate like this. Um, but for the most part, I'm finding that they're okay. Um, at least for the painting that I've been doing. And I'm just using um, the cheap um, apple barrel stuff that you can get at Walmart um, because we'll make it look, with our clear coats, we'll make it look um, like a million dollars. Okay, so I am starting completely black with all, um, all of it and I am going to get these messy, um, thick coat. And there'll be a lot of start and stops in this, um, a lot of splicing of videos through there just to get these dry. Um, the layers. Um, so I'm just starting with a completely black background um, and this will probably be two coats worth of black. Um, and I probably, I don't know that I can show you that one because my screen protector on my old iPad is where these um, graphics are that I'm taking inspiration from. Um, I'm not recreating something an, another artist did. I'm using it mostly for color and spacing, not um, not copying the other artist's work. Um, I don't like to do that. So, um, like I said, color is what I'm going for. Because um, there's several that I like, but I think I'm doing more like blues and purples on the Northern Lights, and so, um, yeah, you know what, maybe I can't show you because I don't know if those images are copyrighted or not. Um, but you'll get the gist of them. Um, yeah, so... I guess I could... I didn't, don't necessarily have to start and stop a ton, but um, if you guys don't mind the dryer. Um, but by the time you see this, <laughs> it won't be an option anymore. Okay, now I am going to take so that I don't, well, no, I guess it's not going to matter. I was going to say I was going to wipe off the edges here, but it's not really going to matter because I can see, see through that. So I will be right back after this is dry. Okay, we're back for coat two. I just need a little bit more paint in my tray here. I wish that I had the ability to fast forward, like edit, be a good enough editor to do that kind of thing, to kind of speed along those processes so we didn't have to start and stop, but I'm not. So, yeah, we'll just start and stop through the drying process. As you can see, I'm putting on kind of a thicker second coat, right? We want it. We don't want any of like this brown down here in the corner, which I think is in camera, to show through at all. And that is, um, I don't know, I, I'm painting terms are eluding me at the moment. Um, but basically, um, I can make the colors, I don't wanna say brighter, but I can make them more distinguished off of the black background. And I don't think my washi tape is going to hold through the whole thing. So the boy has my painter's tape. No idea where it is. I've looked and looked and looked. So anyways, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the paint out of this a little bit. 
just in my opinion helps keep the water from getting muckier sooner but then you do end up with paint on your fingers um, pretty easy cleanup though okay I'll be right back I'm gonna dry this and then we'll get started on the painting okay I am back for the next portion here and so what I'm gonna do is gently set this on here um, because there's gonna be a tree line so I kind of want to know where I want my trees to set on the cover. So I think I think it's going to kind of go at a diagonal line like this. So what I'm going to kind of do is mark kind of where I want the tree line to start right here. And I'm not going to be able to really see that. Let's see if I've got my white gel pen here. I actually my um, um, other ruler is out in the kitchen because it was so cold this last weekend I just crafted out in the uh, living room and kitchen so about right here so it's gonna go kind of diagonal Oh, sorry I'm Jocelyn you guys I'm just trying to keep this like out of out of my way a little bit because you know how we always box ourselves in okay so I'm gonna be using um, blue cobalt blue in the apple barrel and then uh, violet iris and you're gonna see me kind of mixing that with some white so let me shake that Move my foot so I'm not Jocelyn ya or we're shaking. And then towards the end, then we'll be using um, maybe a little bit of silver. I'm not sure yet. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, and I, for me, paintings kind of take on a life of their own. So I kind of just go with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Um, dip into the blue and we kind of have a ballpark line right right in through here from here to here I think I want a little less water in there and I know that I have a little bit of black still left in my brush and that's okay so we're gonna take the blue and we're just gonna go up and we're just kind of streaking it out we're not going overly heavy we're just gonna brush it up And it's okay to make little, because there's going to be black um, silhouetted trees through here. We're just going to drag it up like this, going a little bit heavier with paint in some areas and lighter in the other, because I kind of want the black to show through. Because um, again, it's like the northern lights. Okay. And I don't want to have to go in and put more in there. Does that make sense? Like I don't want to have to try to go and put my black back in. Okay, now with blue still on my brush, I'm just going to dip a little bit and I'm going to go in some of the darker places that I left paint and I'm just going to start pulling up some of the white through there. Kinda, and you can kind of tell, like right here is a dark spot, but here's the light. So you kind of, you're just making, you're making the light dance a little bit, okay? And if you find that you went a little too heavy, just keep going in this direction, right? Through that. And then you, once you've picked up more of your blue, then you can go back through here. And if you see me reaching across and stopping for a second, it means that I'm kind of looking at the colors on the photo that I'm using. If you want just a tad more in another spot, then you just kind of do that. And then you can always go pick up a little bit more of your blue, kind of drag it through there to darken it back up a little bit if you got a little too light. And then 
And right here at the horizon line, I'm going to go ahead and put quite a bit of blue in there and white. You can always take some paint off your brush if you feel like you got a little too light in there. I feel like I got a little little too light in there, a little heavy handed. Okay, now I'm gonna just kind of tip out those up here. And see how it's really starting to get really light through here? That's kind of what I want because we're gonna then the next color we're gonna do is um the purple. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my brush. Okay. Too heavy handed. Okay, we're going to have to come back to that because I'm kind of feeling like it's not blending real well there. There we go. A little bit of water. Sometimes you can get your water to do what you want it to do. Just kind of getting it a little wetter there. I may have to go in. It's not blending exactly how I wanted it to or how I envisioned it would. We'll see. We'll see. Never discount it until, until you're done, you know? And I think right now it's kind of drying a little bit faster than I wanted it to. It's not blending how I thought it would. I 
you know what? There's been many paintings that I was like, oh, I don't like that. Oh my gosh, it looks terrible. And then you actually get it done and it's actually not terrible. Sometimes it needs to get ugly before it gets pretty. Do, do you know what, it, know what I mean? what I was going for but you know we're just gonna go with it do you think I'm gonna have to go back in there and cut it with a little bit of black Now it seems to really be drying well. Couldn't have gotten the black to dry that well, right? Well, not quite what I was going for, but you know what? I think Try a little bit of water. Maybe, maybe. And I think it needs a little bit lighter going up through here too. I think I've blended that all down. I was wondering what would happen if we added a little bit of green at the horizon. Just a touch. Yeah, all right, let me go grab a green really quick and we'll see what that does. Um, I think I want it a lighter green. Sorry guys, give me just a second. Um, 
or we'll just go with whatever green I can grab first. And then we'll lighten it up a little. Um, I'm thinking that maybe just a skosh of green in there might kind of change it out just a little bit. Kind of changes that horizon just a little bit, right? This gives it a little, little something. And if our trees end up lower, then they end up lower, right? If we have to go back over it with black paint, then that's what we'll do. What if over here we did a little bit of red? All right, let me grab the red. Who knew I'd need the rainbow, huh? Oh, that's gloss. Hold on, we want matte. Also, too, if you're going to try painting, um, do, I, well, obviously do it, because like I said, no, you can't, I'm like, you can't really mess up, right? I mean, you, I, mean I guess it, you could, like, mess up to where you, like, don't like it, but all you're doing is playing and learning a new technique, right? What's the worst that can happen? You just throw it out, right? That red is really red, huh? Blue back in. All right, I actually think it's coming together. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, dry that, and then come back and see what we got, okay? All right, see you in a minute, guys. Okay, I got that dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some stars in there. And this is kind of just like a stencil brush. I'm just going to splatter. Or maybe not. 
let's see. And those won't show up until we put our clear coat on. Like, well, I should say. And the reason I'm not using a toothbrush over a stencil brush is one, because I can't find my toothbrush. And two, I do want them to be like a highlight, not a not a big one. Make sense? I just want them almost like barely there. But this is not working the way I wanted it to. Hmm. All right, let's try a little bit bigger splatters. There we go. Brush just had to be wet enough, I guess. Okay. Okay. Um, now. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, my phone keeps shutting off, like stopping the recording, and I'm not sure why. Um, it keeps saying storage full, and I'm like, mm, no, no, it's not. So I shut it off, and then we turned it back on, and we'll see. We'll see what we get from here. Okay, so the next step is going to be putting in our tree line <clears throat> um, right in through here. So I'm going to be using the side brushes here um, for directional because I'm going to be putting in um, trees. Pour a little bit more black in here. We'll see how far we get. And I don't actually think you missed anything because it, it shut off like right as I was done with like the um, splattering. So it was a perfect timing almost, right? Okay. So we're going to touch in here. And we're going to go for silhouetted trees. There's the stalk. And we're gonna come. Actually, maybe I'll just put in the tree lines where I want it with the big one and come back in with the. I'm not the best when it comes to making trees, so we'll see how well this works. So, I guess I'll have to let me know if you found this interesting or not. Um, I should say my first love has always been painting. I don't won't claim to be like super great at it, but I do like it. Um, it's another with the um, sorry, Paul's talking again. Um, I won't claim to be the best painter. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. But I did warn you, I probably wouldn't be very talkative through these. Okay. 
This, I guess for me, is kind of the nerve-wracking point because, uh, yeah, for obvious reasons. because I'm going back up through my painting with black. <laughs> so if it doesn't turn out, we're kind of scrap it and start over, right? Hopefully you guys can kind of tell where I'm going with all of this. That might be far too many trees, but you know, we're going with it. It's our painting, right? We can do what we want to do. Okay. All right, so I'll stick that in water. Let's go back here. We'll make some happy little trees like Bob Ross would say. I don't even know if this portion is... I knew I'd be stressed about that, like not talking through the video. <laughs> What's up, Dodger? Somebody must want outside. Go tell dad. Yeah, go tell dad. I can't help you, buddy. And I guess the other thing too about trees is don't, don't freak out about the trees. Like, trees are not perfect, right? Got some that have less and some that have more, right?
then I am kind of go back through here right around the trunk lines because my paint for whatever reason today is dry drying really fast so you can tell now where all the tree trunks <laughs> like it's not a good to see it So I'm just going in and breaking up the line a little bit. I guess too, a good way to do it too is just um, kind of zigzag down your um, tree trunks. Every tree is different. So apparently he's decided that he's in for the long haul. <laughs> he's laying literally glaring at me on the floor. <laughs> you're not listening. Hey lady, you're not listening.
hope everybody's enjoying their day. Um, I am. Like I said, it's been a while since I had any paints out for any project. I think the last like kind of painting I did was this like last summer spring, like for the baby books and the like the covers, and that wasn't really like painting like this. It's it's probably been a good year since I did anything even remotely more than just you know, like I said, the baby books. I think if I were to do this again though, I think I th would space out the trees a little bit more. But it's a forest, right? You can't have a really sparse forest, right? kind of looks like a monkey, doesn't it? Well, not literally a monkey, but... Alright, what are we thinking? I think I like it. I think I'm digging it. I'm thinking I'm hitting the point now where I've painted too much today. So we may have to set it aside and let it dry a little bit. Maybe I'll try to finish the trees, but I just, you know, sometimes, you know, if you feel like you keep making mistakes or that's not looking exactly how you want. Um, like I said last week, there's no shame in like walking away. And then coming back to it because you'd rather love what you made than, sorry, I'm gonna scoot that on you guys.
guys, my hand's getting tired, so I'm going to go um, rest it for a little bit, kind of come back here in a little bit. I'll probably finish up these trees, and then in the next portion, we'll take care of this, and then we'll let it dry, and then we'll clear coat it. All right, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Bye, guys.